Okay, right now I am on the Goose Rock Summit Point, which is the highest point on Whitby Island. From this spot, you can view the entire Whitby Island area. I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me just catch my breath. Okay, well, let's start off. This is facing south, okay. If I'm not mistaken, if you see this mountain range, um, not mountain range, you know, the darker area there, where you can see a little bit of water, that should be Coopville, where my hotel is. And uh, they said on clear days, you can see clearly Mount Rainier from here. However, it should be in that direction, but it's cloudy so we can't look that far however if you turn to the south west you can see the tip of the Olympic mountains just west of Seattle and there's still snow on the mountain tops it's right there amazing isn't it so the base of the mountain is covered in clouds, but the top is kissing the sun. So that should give you an idea of how high the mountain actually is. If time permits, I'm going to drive over there too. So you can expect a closer encounter. I just hope I find, I find the time. Go a little bit to the side here. Oh, oops, careful. Ooh, it's chilly. And this is all, all this area down here. That's the Deception Pass State Park. And you can hear the fighter jets far away from here. The airport, uh, it's an airbase, is right there. I might drive over there too today, I don't know. Depends on the time. Oh. Cold. Wonderful. So this is the inlet of inlet of the Deception Pass. And with the island. Wherever you look it's it's green everywhere. Okay, I'm back in a car now and uh, going to drive, continue driving to Ana Cortez. I did a little bit of hiking here at the Deception Pass State Park. It was really nice. Uh, and now we are going to cross the Deception Pass bridge inside the car.
driving this part on Whitby Island reminds me reminds me so much on highway number one in California. The shape of the roads are about the same and of course the nature around you as well. Ram sister Oh my god look at these houses up there I'm now driving back to the guest house from Anna Cortez. I did purchase my ferry ticket for tomorrow and I uh, did buy everything I need for, for the kayak tour. You know, all that launches and stuff. Now I'm going to bring all that stuff back my room and then I'm going to head out again towards Ana Cortez.
approaching the Deception Pass again. And this is it again, the Deception Pass Bridge. I don't know if you can see it from here, but if you notice, when we earlier stopped today, the water was flowing from the left, from the left to the right, and now it's going the other way around. So that means uh, the tide has changed, the tide is coming in and it flows the other way. That's really strange. I need to ask Marshall about that. And that's the bridge. And this is uh, the Whitby Island Naval Station, Air Naval Station. I wonder if you can go to visit that place. In 45 miles, we are right on Washington 20. back to the guest house and Drive I just 9.5 miles on Washington 20 pack my stuff together for tomorrow I'm going to head out really early in the morning uh, we're talking about five o'clock uh, quarter past five um, so yeah I just wanted to get ready with everything so I packed my stuff bought my last needs and then I'm off back to Ana Cortez again to a nice place to have dinner.
so I need a name for this trip a title what shall we call it something with Seattle you can't really say Seattle because I'm not really in Seattle think of something so the second the, the second day is coming to an end slowly um, I didn't do much today rather than driving around and okay okay the stop at deception pass was nice and then I just still needed to buy my last needs and I'm all set for tomorrow and I think the real adventure begins tomorrow and tomorrow's forecast it's going to be 70 degrees and I guess sunny again Yesterday, when I walked on the pier and um, you could see the cove, this is the other side of the cove. So, Highway 20 uh, goes around the cove from Coopville to this place, which is called Oak Harbor. Right across there. That's that's Coopville. Yeah, I can see it, but now where the boats are. Whoops. Ah, uh, and there is the name of this place. It's uh, it's a pan cove. Yes, I had my dinner in Anacortes and I'm now driving back to my hotel and again for how many times for the third time today we are going to cross the deception pass it's just so beautiful well I wanted to catch the sunset uh, you know actually right here at the beach or on the bridge however it's kind of obscured because of the clouds so I miss the sunset but at the same time it's not really that bad because of the clouds you know so in Anacortes I went to a uh, seafood place of course what else but seafood um, called what's the name again Anacortes Rockfish Bar and Grill or whatever Yeah, the food was excellent down there. I had the, uh, the yellow fin tuna And yep, the fish was well prepared And tasted really good Yeah, back at the uh, Back at the hotel, I'm just going to have a small chat with um, Jan and Marshall. I'm going to drink a glass of wine with them, and then I'm going straight to bed. Still tired from the long flight. I didn't sleep that long the past night, so I have. some sleep to back up and it's almost 10 o'clock and next morning I have to get up at 4 to catch the ferry so yeah
I think this is going to be the final video for today. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good night and I see you tomorrow.